All right, today in this video, we are going to make molds, mix concrete to make these stackable garden blocks. Stay tuned to learn more. And while you're at it, remember to like this video, subscribe, hit that little bell if you want future notifications. So, all right, let's get to work. Plan today is to, we're gonna make an attempt at the Man About Tools garden box concrete molds. All right, we're going to the Home Depot to pick up some lumber and some concrete supplies just because some of the stuff that's required, Home Depot is the only place that has it. I have some glass fiber that I ordered on Amazon, which is coming in tomorrow. So today we're gonna focus on building the mold and tomorrow we'll focus on mixing the concrete and putting it in the molds. There's a lot to do with these molds and it's raining today, so I don't know how I'm gonna do my setup. I'm gonna get sawdust everywhere. So let's get on the road and get this day started. All right. All right, got back from Home Depot and broke my one main rule and did not follow my list so i had to stop and reassess because i forgot a few things so i went to lowe's and picked up the other few things that i needed to get this project started so let's set up and get started the rain has has stopped for now guess it's time to get going so let's move all right Today we're going to make two molds for two different size garden blocks, three foot and four foot. Starting out with the miter saw, cutting down a two by eight to four feet in length and another at three foot, I wanted to try and keep this process as easy and cost effective as possible. Then I cut down the four two by fours to four foot one and a half inches and the others at three foot one and a half inches to accommodate for the overhang. On the corners of each 2x8, you essentially want to cut out the width and height of a 2x4 opposite of one another. Respectively, you're cutting 1.5 inches by 3 inches, since dimensional lumber really isn't 2 inches by 4 inches. But you're cutting these out because you want to be able to interlock each garden block with one another. I used a jigsaw for this on my first mold, but on my second set of molds, I ended up using my circular saw for the initial cuts and then the jigsaw to finish it out. Next, it's time to make the end caps. This took some time experimenting with how they were going to lock in together. And I realized I messed up the cuts with the jigsaw and had to add some spacers to fill the gap that I overcut. I should have drilled these holes before I assembled the end caps to the mold. On the second mold I built, I did this before they were assembled and also I didn't drill into the end grain, instead flipping them over and using the side. Now that the dowels are in, I cut some small PVC to act as the rebar holder to attach the garden blocks together. All right, it's now Sunday. Yesterday I spent mm, all day pretty much till it got dark and it started raining again building these molds, these concrete molds based on the Man About Tools um, design for these concrete garden blocks. The molds took a lot longer than I expected but uh, once I had one done the second one went together pretty fast. The only thing I was missing was some pretty much some cabinet screws that have a they're not countersinking heads. So it'd be easier to take them out and put in because the molds will come apart. So let's go to Lowe's, pick up what we need, maybe some coffee, and then we'll get back and get started 
I still have to wait for my fibers to come in for the to mix with the concrete or the mortar mix but we'll do that in a bit all right hit the road all right today is the day to mix and pour the concrete but first I got to cut some garden fencing I got from Lowe's to add some reinforcement to the molds After this first set of blocks, I actually added some rebar wire ties around the PVC on each side to stabilize the ends better and lock them in when the concrete is poured. I am using Quickcrete's Pro Finish Mortar Mix to fill these molds. Now great on its own, I did add some extra fibers to help strengthen the concrete as it dries. These molds are pretty thin and I didn't want them to be really heavy but sturdy at the same time. So with my hammer drill and a large paddle bit, I added water and mortar. Mix that all up and then keep adding mortar and water till I get the mix that I like. This will take some experimenting to find the right consistency that you like. For this first pour into the molds, I added in some caulk to seal the molds, but I found it not to be really needed and extra time and expense that could go towards something else. Also use some cooking spray inside the molds to help the concrete from sticking to the surface to which I have tried this with and without the spray. I couldn't really tell the difference honestly. Also on this first pour I used a smaller bucket to add the concrete little by little into the molds but after some practice now I just pick up the bucket and pour it in the molds. Once the molds are all filled I use a trowel to level out the concrete, add a little bit more, level it out. Repeat this until they're completely filled. You let them dry a little bit and then smooth them out some more and then you let them dry. Man, it's so freaking cold. All right, got, got them poured yesterday. I think they might be dry, I'm not sure. We're gonna pull the sides off and see if they're dry and so we'll uh show them then all right let's time lapse this all right I initially had a decorative element inside the molds which put a little inset but I ended up taking that out because the wood I used started warping after the first couple pours. The four initial blocks that I poured ended up not matching up in the holes on the ends so I ended up having to make a modification in my math. Math is hard. So when you stack them up next to one another on top of one another the holes line up and you can put a piece of rebar into the into the hole itself to Put them together also these are just my rendition of the molds you can look up the man about tool versions on his website and he uses two by tens and two by sixes and then cuts them down to where they're square he uses a fast set concrete mix so they dry faster but honestly i just wanted to cut some corners and see if see how the easiest way to do this and make them effective and i think they turned out quite well I mean, the whole point is to rebuild my garden so it's more sustainable and like every couple of years, I'm not having to change out rotted wood. They're concrete. They're not, nothing, they're practically indestructible. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, hit that little bell if you want notification of future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.